Uh, before we move on, I would like to let you guys know that we are running short on time. So we will now be moving on to closing speeches before this meeting is over. So, do we have any people who are willing to speak in favor that steroid use in sports be legalized and that we should let them use steroids? Anyone in favor of that who wants to come up here and speak? Uh, Young, Jared, you guys want to rush him up? Okay, so Jerry, you can speak favor, come up here. And who wants to speak con against this resolution? So who doesn't think that it's okay to use sports? Or use steroids and stuff? Steroids are raw. Okay, uh, Cameron, you want to come up here? Okay, so. Now, uh, we're going to do this. Cameron first, then Jerry. So. Uh, we have closing speeches. Cameron, go ahead and take it away. Alright, so against the use of steroids in sports. Now, I know earlier I said that, you know, it would be alright if we monitored their home life and, you know, we would just cut off their steroid intake off of, off of the players when they got too violent. But that went against something of my personal belief that we shouldn't be invading people's privacy. And I won't get into that, that's another debate. But the fact is we shouldn't be letting steroids be used because outside of, you know, the Gladiator Arena, the, the Griff Ball Arena, the football stadium, the baseball field, anywhere, it could be potentially dangerous to public life and everywhere else. Alright, uh, go ahead, Jared, take it away. Okay, now, I think... If we allowed steroids in normal sports, there, there would definitely be a spike in steroids. And one of two things could happen. On one hand, we could have everybody taking steroids and then everybody, everybody becomes like a superhuman. But if everybody, if everybody becomes a superhuman, then no one is superhuman. Because if they're all the same, then it really just negates the steroids. Now, on the other hand, it could be like, Maybe it spikes for a little while, and then it goes down, and then the athletes themselves start to look down on steroids. We could have either that happen, or everyone could use steroids. So I really think that even if steroids were legalized, that they wouldn't affect sports all that much. They might cause more spectacular sporting events, but I don't think it would change the actual players' skills all that much. And also, I'd like to bring up that Steroids open up a lot more possibilities for our sports. Right now we have baseball fields, 450 feet. We have football fields, 100 meters, 300 feet. If we have steroids, we can expand those. We can get more people in, make more money. We could have much greater experiences at those games because the football would be flying, you know, 300 feet high, 500 feet long. I think that that would um, add to a more fun experience for both the fans and the players. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, call a vote right now uh, and see you know, where we stand on this after debating this. So, all in favor that steroids be used, be legalized in sports, uh, raise your hand. Okay, now, hands down. Hands down. Okay, now, all those against it who do not think that we should have steroid use in sports, raise your hand. Oh, <laughs> why not, isn't it, man? Okay, and uh, hands down. Now, all those abstaining, you know, you're not making a vote one way or the other, raise your hand. Okay. FYI, you guys can do that, okay? Uh, this is, I did this to kind of, you know, get you more into how JSA works. So, Young generally abstention, that means he's not voting one way or the other. And the reason I did this is um, because the way the conventions work is that they'll have a debate, and at the end of it, they'll call a vote. So, in, in, this, in this debate, I would say that the people against it, the cons, uh, won that vote. You guys definitely outnumbered the pros. So, what that means is that at the, at, at the closing session at the debate, when they announce the debates and the best speaker, they'll say, oh, uh, steroid use in sports, the resolution failed with a vote of blank to blank. And so that's just, you know, getting used to it. So if you guys start going to conventions, they'll, you'll know, oh, why, why, why am I raising my hand? Then that's why, because you're calling a vote on this resolution, and everyone's going to know how it did. Um, 
And also, uh, just know that if you, you can abstain, it's not going to be counted one way or the other, but there is, if there is a tie, so for example, like 16 people were, were in favor, 16 people were against, then if you abstain, your vote would go to the, to the negation, the con side. So just keep that in mind. So prepare you for the conventions sort of thing. And um, yeah, this meeting's pretty much over. So thanks.